Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Victoria 2 with HFM as the Egyptian Kingdom. Last we left off, we are slowly but surely industrializing. We are getting factories in good places. We have um, our populations growing, which is awesome. Capitalists are coming along. We are building railroads. All sorts of good stuff is happening. All sorts of good stuff is happening. I am, uh, I am very, very excited. Um, let's get rid of our cavalry. We don't need cavalry now. We actually need, um, Dragoons. Dragoons, more people, people argue Hussars, but I say Dragoons, because Dragoons are the best cavalry. Let's make Jada uh, a rally point. <clears throat> so we get quite a bit of research points, and literacy is increasing by quite a bit as well. Just be in Cairo. Okay, yeah, there's quite a few Ottoman troops on my borders. I'm thinking he's he might be getting some ideas. We'll see. I don't know. He's a secondary power, as as are we, so it's gonna get interesting. Yeah, we should have a Egyptian Eritrea. We're finally finishing up our naval bases. That means we're going to have some more colonial points. Okay, so tax efficiency. Yeah, that helped us out a little bit. Um, we're friendly with the French. So the French are indirectly protecting us. We're not in their sphere, but they are indirectly protecting us. Deutschland. Ally me, Deutschland. Damn it. No Russians, Valley's ours. Thank you, Russia. Don't give me none of that Putin shit. I don't want to hear it. We can create a state in Heil. Sounds good. Oh yeah, we should probably fortify. Yeah, we should build some forts. Yeah, forts would be good. I really wish, dude, there needs to be a fort map mode in Victoria 2. Seriously. Uh, whoopsies. I think I went a little too far with the with the expenses, so let's, let's get some tariffs going. We should be subsidizing all the factories and stuff that are going to soon be built, so. Do, uh, moralism. <clears throat> Dude, look at this. We can mobilize 102 brigades. Holy shit. That is nuts. Spain wants access? Who are you at war with? Oh, you're at war with the Ottoman Empire. Why? Holy God, is this the, uh, yeah, this is the, the Great Eastern Crisis. Why the hell did Austria-Hungary not come to their aid? Oh, dude, look at that. The Ottoman Empire just had a revolution or something. Holy shit. We should invade. Oh, dude. Right now is the time. Oh, really? We can go from Ras Garib to El Arish? Oh, that's fucking awesome. Dude. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's invade. Holy God. Yes, all troops. We need troops. Uh, military spending is at full? Okay. Now, fuck you, Ottomans. Fuck out of here. Ready to get your ass whooped, son. We have six military tech. He's got eight. But I'm actually confident we'll be fine. Because this guy's fighting the Russians and shit right now. Bring it on, fuckers. Let's see what you can do. Um, Do I mobilize for this? Ah, fuck, yeah, I think we do. <laughs> 102 regiments against the Ottoman Empire. I think we should mobilize. Uh, we're going to acquire all cores. 
Well, let's wait until we're in position. You tell me nobody's going to come to this guy's aid at all. He's hostile with everybody. Oh my lord. And we can actually get an alliance with the Germans as well. Oh, dude. Alright, tariffs? Yeah, we need tariffs. Holy shit. Damn. Uh, I actually forgot about Tobruk. Yeah. I actually forgot about Tobruk. We have a four-year draft. That's why we can mobilize so many men. It's beast. Alright, so we have to take over all these cores, and then we should be getting a ticking war score. We're going to keep just reserves around the place. I don't want to take too much attrition, so we have to be... We have to be kind of keeping an eye on, on all of this. In the meantime, we're going to research military attack. Yeah, we're gonna take a lot of attrition if we don't keep an eye on our on our conscripts, so let's just try and keep them from just bunching up too much. Damn it, that's right, we don't have any damn cavalry because the dragoons didn't finish building. Fuck. Let me find the dragoons if I have any. I need the recon really bad. <laughs> Some shit. Maybe actually, you know, I could probably uh Yeah, I could probably take Italian Libyan Tanalian to Tripolitania. Or Ottoman Tripolitania. Did I say Italian? No. <laughs> shit. Yeah. Oh, dude, Egypt's time has come. Egypt's time has come. Dragoon, dragoon. Dragoon, dragoon. Okay. Good. Good. Uh, I'm actually going to go for this because this is military tactics. So he mobilized as well, but he's fighting, yeah, he's fighting the Russians and shit. Oh, dude. Glorious. You know, not that these guys are really all that good at generals. That's pretty beast. Holy God! That's just 22,000 inventory. Yeah, so those are all conscripts, I'm guessing. Hopefully we do okay. Dude, I have a shit ton of conscripts. My god. I cannot believe there's this many. Fuck. Okay, these are dragoons. So you go to that army over there. I mean, join the men in, in Jaffa. What the fuck? Fuck you, Austria. <laughs> okay, so we're all over the Germans now, which is pretty cool. Hell yeah. Fuck, we're taking debt, though. Um, We're actually going to decrease administrative spending net if that's the case. Yeah. Because we mobilize right now, so mobilization impact is really going to be painful for your country. Um, The tariffs are hurting our, our economy, but... Yeah, let's just finish up with this war and we'll deal with the factories later. No shit. Okay, so we're still producing plenty of troops. Let's have you go to Jerusalem.
Benghazi. So we'll invade, yeah. We actually might probably try and take, I think, both of these two. Can I do that? Place in the sun. Uh, it'd be... Yeah, Ottoman Cyrenaica. Ottoman Tripolitania. That's 5.5, .5, so it's 11. So we can barely do it, I think. No, actually, I can't. Is this, we can only do a maximum of 9. <clears throat> Interesting. We have no engineers either, do we? No, we don't. Mm -mm. Unfortunate. Let's keep reserves. Let me grab like, yeah, let me grab like 21,000. I'm going to move them over here to El Arish. I think we're done with the mobilization. Almost, actually. Yeah, we're still, we're still doing a little more. God damn it, is really bad there. Because we have no cavalry in our forces, so we don't actually siege stuff down that fast. Yeah, I probably should have kept some of these guys. The SARS would be pretty quick to build, too. It's in Sudan, though. Okay, so they want more conscripts. <clears throat> yeah, let's just keep reserves around the place. Let's just keep a shit ton of men that, that we can draw upon just in case we need to have any battles with the Ottomans. Yeah, he's he's getting fucked up, dude. Oh, dude. Actually, the Russians have already occupied some of our stuff. What are the Russians trying to take, anyway? Cars and Romania wants to acquire Dub uh, Dubrigia. Dubrigia? Dubrigia, I guess. Trading privilege is questioned. These conscripts? Oh, yeah, they are. Alright. I didn't even know we were still conscripting men, shit. Alright, so yeah, we will acquire Ottoman Cyrenaica. Place the sun, Ottoman Cyrenaica. Which we already, we already have. Okay. <clears throat> you go for Benghazi, you go for Sirt. Let's hold position for a second. We're going to march on in here. Let's see. The Congress of London stabilized the Balkans. The great powers of Europe joined together in, the London, in London to negotiate the future of the Balkans with the delegates from the Ottoman Empire also in attendance. Uh, while there was much contention, ultimately it was decided in creating stability in the region. Okay. Okay, so now he's just at war with us. So the Great Eastern Crisis is over. <clears throat> okay. So now he's going to probably send in troops. So we should be cautious. We should keep keep our eyes out and about. We're not really building any of these troops because you don't have the goods. So... Okay. 
Damn, that's pretty crazy. I can really, I can really only supply people in, in like, the eastern parts, you know, or on the, on the coast. So we're gonna take a lot of attrition in this shit. We have no war exhaustion though, technically. Just trying to keep an eye out for the enemy. <clears throat> At least their tax efficiency is going up. This is 18,000 inventory. He's thinking about it. We're not dug in or anything. Let's go for Palmyra. Mm. 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 Wow, we got there faster than he did. Okay. That's good. Dude, holy shit, our upper house is just completely... Yeah, completely just not even... <clears throat> wow. Okay, that, that's going to put a few more conservatives in the upper house. Do we attack this position? Homs? I have troops of Damascus I can use. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we go for it? Who's our generals, actually? Well, we're still doing fine. Yeah, I got a 30,000 right there. Come on, baby, give me a stack wipe. Come on, baby, give me a stack wipe. Yes, good. It's all just inventory. Holy shit, dude, 12% attrition here. God, our supply limit sucks in this place. Slowly but surely, though, we will win. We will win. Seventy-eight war score for this piece deal. Damn. All right, yeah, we're gonna go on speed five now. Um, the modest uprising. Oh shit! In the troubled atmosphere of Sudan's modernization, Muhammad Ahmad ibn As Said Abd Allah, a fakir and religious leader, has become himself the Mahdi or guided one. Yeah, these are the modest wars. Uh, yeah, we're gonna so we're gonna have we're gonna have problems in the Sudan. <clears throat> yeah, the modest wars were. Um, basically a guy in the Sudan just claimed that he was God's prophet, and so he basically, like, just had this huge uprising in the Sudan, and, uh, he would, he would actually do a lot of damage to Egypt. <laughs> yeah, he was actually pretty beast. And, um, eventually that's how the, the, uh, the, the British, the British sent troops into Egypt to help with the Modest Rebellion, and eventually they would just kind of take over power in Egypt. Yeah, that was in yeah. So it was like it was like fourteen years of war or something like that. Oh god, attrition's horrible over there. Oh yeah, dude, it's over. It's game over for these guys.
Let's see, Durabak here. No, we'll stay here, it's fine. No, I'll actually, we'll withdraw to over here. He's got militant socialists. Interesting. Hmm. Holy shit, dude. We took a shit ton of attrition over there in Tunisia. Yeah. If I don't get our, if I if I don't get my infamy down more, we probably actually won't be able to take it. Um He's the last of the occupations? Okay. See, I got a question Twitch chat. Hey man, is this new series for YouTube? Yes it is. Yes it is. You will be seeing this on YouTube uh, soon. Can't tell you how soon, but I could tell you soon. Cool. Damn. All right, I think now we wait. I think, um, yeah, I think now we wait. Oh, what the fuck? The Germans broke their alliance with us? Dude, what the hell? Why? We were allied with the Germans for a while, man. Why the fuck did they break the alliance? You fucks. What's going on with this? Is it because of our infamy? It might be. Oh, just because of wars. I don't know. Come on, man. Alright, so we have ticking war score now, so we might as well just wait. I have no further desire to invade any of his territory. We can't take it any of it anyway. I can't release uh, the Mashriq. We have too much infamy for that. Yeah, no. So. I will see if we can take Tripolitana. I think that I can probably pull off, but the infamy just needs to go down. Oh, wow. Turkey's now a republic. Okay. Yeah, I have no desire to keep keep advancing, though. We're just going to wait. We don't have any war exhaustion, though, so that's good. Actually, transfer over to the one cavalry unit we have in our entire armed forces over there to Tripolitania. Yeah, damn. That mobilization, dude, that shit hurt us real bad. The mobilization is just really expensive. Okay, so now we wait. Yeah, taking war score should take care of this for us. Um... What do you mean, man? We've occupied all our cores. What does it mean? What does it mean? Why is it telling us it's not fulfilled? Right, it's all that. That's it. These are only these are the only cores I have. That's weird. And yeah, fulfilled an 82.1%. Hmm. I don't know. Holy god, we're losing some serious cash. Hmm. See, Marcelo Tober is now following on Twitch. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Send some reinforcements over here. Yeah, this probably won't happen. Now try. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we can do. In the meantime. 
try and fund some more factories. Let's see, low minimum wage. Engineers are good. Engineers are, are useful. Let's see, acquire all cores, acquire Turkish Cyrenaica. Hmm. I'm actually wondering. Not possible, at least nations went at war. Sudan, Kingdom of Yemen. Okay. Because I was going to say, actually, if we could release. If I could release something over here somewhere and get. North Africa in return, I'd actually be willing to take that. But yeah, I don't think it's going to work. That's fine. We still get Libya. Yeah, we'll take, we'll take, uh, we'll take Tripolitania later. We'll be fine. <clears throat> yeah, come on, dude, really? Is he going to be this unreasonable? Hey man, that's what the ticking war score is for. If he's gonna be this unreasonable, we might as well just wait. Okay, we can re up our alliance with the Germans when this war is over. That's right, you bastard. Oh shit, we had cores up here, huh? Uh, no, we'll keep everything we gain. That's fine. Interesting. It didn't, yeah, I don't have cores here, but it gave it to me anyway. Oh, curious. Okay, reduce. Terrorists. Demobilize. Player economy takes care of itself. End of the Ottoman dynasty. The Ottoman monarchy has been overthrown and Turkey stands in its place. The concept of Ottomanism, an empire formed of diverse cultures and religions, has been set aside in favor of a nation built by and for the Turkish people. Okay, so he lost all of his cores here. Although he does have cores, some cores here. We'll see about that, Ottoman. We will see about that, good sir. Don't get your hopes up, Ottoman. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. The Egyptian Levant. The Turks have proven... Unable to retake the Levant from us, despite all the assistance they've received from the rest of Europe, even those great powers must now admit the Levant rightfully belongs to us, and that the sick man of Europe has no claim over it. Glory to Egypt! Mm, that's awesome. Six degrees tariffs, like 25%, I think. Mm, we gotta get this, yeah. Yeah, 50%? We gotta get this under, uh, under control. We need our tax base to improve. Probably just because, I mean, we're built, we're probably just buying up a lot of goods for troops. That's probably what it is, but still. As long as we don't go too much into debt. We're doing fine right now. That's right, Germans. Fuck, man. Good. Good. It's funny, yeah, so these guys don't actually want, they don't necessarily want reform, political reform that much. They actually just kind of want social reform, which is fine, which is totally fine with me. Um, as long as we don't get rebels and stuff, that's, that's totally cool. Organize Lebanon, form the Arab Union. Um... Then Naj, I'll kill you later. Let's have the infamy come down for a bit, but we'll kill Naj later. Try and see if we can go for uh, go for some sort of reform. So Austria-Hungary, the Germans. Okay, so who's the, who's the uh, great power in the world? United Kingdom. Yeah, German Empire is closely behind though. Cool. Let's go for some industrial tech for now. We have fifth in the world for prestige. That is pretty badass. 
That is pretty good. We should actually probably go for Analytic Philosophy. It's 1870. It's going to give us 100% research points. Um, it's probably not a bad idea. Then I actually want to go for other ideological thought. I want to go for a lot of this culture tech. Yeah, the army tech we're catching up on slowly, but surely. What's everybody else at right now? Jesus Christ, the Germans are like double our military tech. That's fine, though. I don't really want to go to war too much. Like, yeah, I have some desire to go to war, just not too much. Do we have any unrest out here? A little bit. <clears throat> Let's pay back this debt. Uh, Wealth-based voting. Colonial archaeology. This will teach future generations about the common heritage of mankind. Uh, what's the electorate vote? Yeah, decisively conservative. We should be fine. There's a lot of socialists, though. Holy shit, man. Let's see. Kareem, thank you so much for coming by the stream. I know you got your exams tomorrow, man. Take care, okay? Just in case you guys didn't know, we're uh, streaming on Twitch. So, link is in the description down below if you guys are seeing this on YouTube. If you guys want to follow on Twitch, that'd be awesome. We stream every now and again. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> I got to come in the Twitch chat. Hey, you're not dead. <laughs> no, I'm not, dude. <laughs> I mean, if you are subscribed on YouTube, you'll know I'm not dead. There's a crisis in Veneto. Let's take a look over here. What's going on with the Confederates? Interesting. Confederates are still alive. Dude, the Confederates are actually a great power. Holy fuck. Those guys are really strong. Yeah, that's crazy. Wow. Hmm. How's our industrial power? It's not doing too bad. Literacy is definitely getting up there, so... So that's... It's helping us out with, um... Oh, that's right. Yeah, we still have the damn... The Modests. Yeah, they're down there in the south. Alright. We'll see what we can do about that. In the meantime... Uh, I think we're going to take a break here. So, basically, some of our objectives are going to be to take out Turkish Tripoli, which we'll do in a, a couple years. We're going to take out the Najd. We're going to take out the um, the Kuwaitis. We're going to advance into Mesopotamia. Ooh, that's a lot of territory. Yeah, so we have a lot to do. So, we need to get this infamy down. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and take a quick break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I do hope you guys are enjoying this series, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much.